Okay, so I just wanted to show the model that I'm building. I actually have been building it for a while, um, but I got really depressed, so I stopped building it for a few months, and now I'm going to try to get back into it. Uh, this is the uh, AMT, I think it's AMT, yeah, AMT 3100 pickup. It's this one right here. I'm not going to build it with the uh, 76 like service truck or whatever they have there, although that's kind of cool too. I'm going to build it as more of a, or not more of a, but a, a custom. So I've got the chassis here kind of just mocked up. The wheels are not really attached or anything. And I've got it lowered as low as I can get it because I want this thing basically sitting on the ground. As you can see, it'll be about like that low. It'll it, it'll be down there. You can see, not quite that low, but it'll it'll be really low. And I got the cab pretty much all sanded up and everything. I just got to do some final sanding on it. I shaved the door handles and I shaved the windshield wipers because they, they mold them into the plastic on this kit. I like the kits better that uh, basically they put a little hole and then they give you windshield wipers so you can stick them in there. Then you can paint it and put the windshield wipers on where the way this kit is you'd have to paint it and then basically paint in the the chrome or black windshield wipers and it ends up not looking real great so I think I'll try to find some after aftermarket windshield wipers and then just drill the holes and stick them in there so I got those shaved off I just sanded them out and then I shaved off the gas cap too which was right here and I'll just um, paint it and then put a gas cap over top because the the molding on it wasn't very very sharp and I'd like it to be more distinct um, other thing I did was the panel here on the bottom and here on the sides. I put, I glued those in, and then I filled in the line with a putty to hide the line because there's a seam there, and I didn't want that to be seen. And then I've scribed. I've done all my scribing. I have a old tip from a dart actually, and I sharpened it. And I use that to scribe my line. So that after I paint it, I can do my body panel lines with. Um, I'll use like a acrylic paint, and if you if you don't scribe it deep enough, uh, the clear coat will fill in that, that gap. And then when you put I put paint in there, and then I wipe it off, and it just fills in the pinstripe, so it looks like a body panel line. And so I make sure I scribe it nice and deep. And I scribed a little access panel here. And then up here too. So I got to go over it one more time just to make sure it's scribed deep enough. And then um, I'll do a finishing sand with 600. And then it'll be ready for primer. And then I'll, sh I'll show what that looks like. Um, on this one, planning on doing a an actual wood wooden bed, and I've got some. Uh, scrap pieces of wood here. I get several of these and then glue them together and stain them and then clear coat them and that I think that'll look a lot better than the plastic bed that they give you with the it's basically molded in wood texture I don't know if you can see that or not but yeah this will just go over top of it the color I'm looking for is I've already done my sample. I used some acrylic paint, some like, oh, it's like a real bright greenish color and some black. And I came up with this sort of a olive, drab olive color. And it's really ugly, but for some reason I like it. With this type of a custom uh, bell, that's kind of what I wanted to do. But in this picture here, you can see the color, the color that I'm looking for. And and I want it to be lower than that, more like this picture. 
So it'll be the olive green, but it'll be lowered quite a bit. So I hope that'll work. Also, I just wanted to show something about the chassis. That, um, in order to lower this, I had I had to um, basically I had to cut everything off of off of the axle and then mount it right on the chassis. So obviously this wouldn't work in real life because there'd be no suspension. And then the front, I, I actually cut the chassis, I cut a notch in it, and then mounted that in there, and I super glued that in there, so it's real snug. So that's how I'm going to get it really low. That's how I've done that. And I, When you're doing custom stuff like this, you have to mock it up just to, and test it, and because once you've painted it, you don't want to be cutting stuff, and because it'll wreck your paint job. Oh, and here's the... Where's that? Here's my engine. I just glued it together. And I think I'm going to go with a red red color, like a kind of a bright orangish red. I don't know. I'll have to see what I have. And got the seam mostly sanded out. I don't like to see the seam so it looks like two pieces glued together, which it is. I just don't want it to look like it is. And then maybe I'll do the transmission in aluminum or something. I don't know. So anyhow, just wanted to show that. That's my progress right now. And I'll try to do an update video when I have more to show. So thanks for watching. God bless.